Now we'll take uh, one more example for the conversion of the epsilon NFA to the NFA. So this is the epsilon NFA given. So for finding out the uh, NFA for this epsilon NFA, we will have to show the transition of all the states from zero and the one, which are the input symbols. Now, along with the zero, we'll take the epsilon also as the input symbol. So for showing the transition, let's take the epsilon closer of uh, A and then followed by the transition with the zero and then followed by the epsilon closer again. Similarly, uh, we'll show the epsilon closer of A and then transition with one and then finally we'll compute epsilon closer. So now A is the start state and let's see the transition of uh, A with the only the symbol epsilon. So it is clear that A moves to only A by taking the epsilon. So epsilon closer of A will be A only. A state can move to itself by taking the epsilon symbol. Now A on zero moves to B and the epsilon closer of B is B itself and B can move to C also by taking a symbol epsilon. You can see that this is the symbol defined. So by taking the epsilon symbol, you can move to C state. So this is the, how we define. Similarly, epsilon closer of A will be A and A on getting one is not defined. So epsilon closer of phi will also be not defined. So we'll write phi here. Now we're taking a, the symbol B. Now the epsilon closer of B is B and C. We already have computed in the previous step. Now B on getting a zero is undefined. But C on getting 0 is defined and it remains at state C. There is no need of uh, computing the epsilon closer of the symbol phi, but we will compute the epsilon closer for C. So the epsilon closer of C is C only because C can only remain at state C by the symbol epsilon. Now we are taking the transition from 1. So B and the C are the epsilon closer of B. And by getting a symbol 1 at B, B remains at itself and C on getting input symbol 1 moves to state D. Now, the uh, epsilon closer of B is B and C and epsilon closer of D will be D. So the union of these three can be taken when we will write the final transition table. So now we'll move for the transition with C. Then uh, the C the epsilon closer of C will be C only. We already have computed this. C on getting a zero remains at state C only. And epsilon closer of C will be C. Similarly, for getting one symbol, so epsilon closer of uh, C is C. On getting a symbol one at state C, we move to D state. And the epsilon closer of D will be only D state. It can remain at itself only. And then we are going to show the transition with D. So D on epsilon closer of D is D. Epsilon on zero, so D on zero is not defined. So I'll write phi. There is no need to compute the epsilon closer of phi. Now D on epsilon closer of D is D. On one, D is not defined. And the epsilon closer of phi will also be phi. So we have completed this table. Now let's draw the transition table for NFA. So A, B, C, D are the states. We have to show the transition with the state uh, with symbol zero and symbol one. Here A is the start state. Now, if you have to decide the final state, you can see that D is the final state, and there is no state to which I can reach. There is no state from which I can reach to D by only getting epsilon. So D will remain the final state. Now uh, the symbol A on getting a zero is B and C. So let's write it like B comma C in the curly braces. And uh, A on one is phi. Now B on zero goes to state C and B on one goes to states B, C and D all. And then C on getting a symbol zero moves to C and C on getting a symbol one moves to D. And D on 0 is undefined. And D on 1 is also undefined. So let's draw the final NFA. 
So the states are A, which moves to state B and C on getting a symbol zero. So on getting a symbol zero, it goes to B and it goes to C also. Now B on getting the symbol zero moves to state C and B on getting one goes to state B, C and D. So it remains at itself. It goes to C and it goes to another state, which is D, which is the final state. Okay, so this is with a symbol one, not zero. So let's make a slight correction. Yes, so this is one. Now C on getting a symbol zero remains at itself. And C on getting a one goes to state one, state D. Now D on zero is undefined and D on one is also undefined. So this is the final NFA for the given epsilon NFA. So we will see more examples in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching.